Today, we're embarking on an incredible adventure back in time to the very beginnings of the universe, long before the first stars twinkled in the night sky. Imagine a universe in total darkness, a canvas awaiting its first stroke of light. This is the story of the cosmic dark ages, a pivotal chapter in our cosmic history. So sit back, relax, and let's unravel the mysteries of this dark era together. Let's dive in. Our story begins in a period that's almost incomprehensible to us, before the hot Big Bang. Picture a universe not yet born, existing in a state of cosmic inflation. This was a time of profound transformation where quantum fluctuations were the seeds of future galaxies. It's like a cosmic garden where these tiny fluctuations were about to sprout into the complex universe we know today. This era, although devoid of stars and galaxies, was bustling with activity at a fundamental level. The universe was like a massive cauldron, simmering with potential, getting ready to change forever. As it cooled and expanded, it set the stage for the creation of matter, triumphing over antimatter. It's akin to a cosmic magic trick, where the universe started to conjure the building blocks of everything we see around us today. Fast forward a little, and we arrive at a time when the universe was an enormous dark expanse. This was the cosmic dark ages, a period that lasted from about 380,000 years to a billion years after the Big Bang. It's hard to imagine, but during this time, the universe was like a giant unlit stage waiting for its first actors, the stars, to make an appearance. In this era, the universe was a vast ocean of neutral atoms, primarily hydrogen and helium floating in a sea of radiation and neutrinos. You might think that the formation of atoms would quickly lead to the creation of stars, but the universe is not one to rush its grand designs. It took millions of years for the first stars to form. This slow dance of cosmic evolution was a game of patience and precision. The darkness of this era is hard to fathom. It's like being in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean, where no light has ever penetrated. This was a time of silence and stillness, but underneath this calm, the forces of nature were meticulously sculpting the universe's future. The formation of neutral atoms was a game changer in the universe's history. Before this point, the universe was a hot soup of ionized particles where light couldn't travel freely. But as it cooled, protons and electrons combined to form neutral atoms, allowing photons, the particles of light, to escape and travel across the cosmos. This moment, known as recombination, was like the universe lifting a veil, allowing light to embark on its endless journey. This transition was crucial for the universe's development. It set the stage for the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang that we can still observe today. It's fascinating to think that these ancient photons have been traveling through space for billions of years, carrying the secrets of the universe's infancy. Now let's talk about temperature. At the start of the cosmic dark ages, the universe was not perfectly uniform. There were tiny temperature fluctuations, with some areas a bit hotter and some a bit cooler. These might seem insignificant, but in the grand scheme of the universe, they were monumental. Why? Because these temperature differences were the seeds of future cosmic structures. They determined where matter would clump together under gravity's influence. In regions where it was slightly hotter, there was a bit more matter leading to stronger gravitational pull. Conversely, in cooler regions, there was less matter and weaker gravity. It's like having a slightly uneven playing field, where over time, the small advantages and disadvantages get amplified. These tiny temperature differences set in motion a cosmic chain reaction, leading to the formation of galaxies, stars, and eventually planets and life as we know it. Gravity played a starring role in this cosmic ballet. It's the force that pulls matter together, and in the early universe, it was working over time. In regions with more matter, gravity was stronger, pulling in even more matter from surrounding areas. This process was gradual but relentless. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow as it goes. That's what was happening in the universe, but on an unimaginably vast scale. These denser regions were like cosmic snowballs, growing larger and larger as they attracted more matter. But there's a twist in our story. While gravity was pulling matter together, radiation was pushing back. The universe was filled with photons, particles of light, which exert pressure. This radiation pressure acted like a cosmic break, slowing down the collapse of matter into denser clumps. It's a delicate balance. On one hand, gravity is trying to pull everything together, while on the other, radiation is trying to keep things apart. 
This tug of war was crucial in determining how the universe evolved. It's like a cosmic dance where each partner is trying to lead. In the midst of this cosmic dance, hydrogen played a vital role. Hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, and during the cosmic dark ages, it was the main actor on the stage. Hydrogen atoms, made of one proton and one electron, can have their spins aligned or opposite. When the spins flip, the atom emits a photon of light at a specific wavelength, known as the 21 centimeters line. This might sound like a small detail, but it's hugely important. These 21 centimeters photons are like whispers in the dark, carrying information about the conditions in the early universe. By studying these signals, we can learn about the distribution of matter, the temperature of the gas, and even the influence of the first stars and galaxies. It's like having a time machine that lets us peer back into the universe's dark ages. We can't see this period with our eyes, but we can listen to its echoes through these faint hydrogen signals. So how did we go from a dark universe to one filled with stars? It was a slow process taking millions of years. As the universe expanded and cooled, the radiation pressure decreased, allowing matter to clump together more easily. But it wasn't just a matter of waiting for things to cool down. The process of star formation is complex and requires just the right conditions. You need dense clumps of gas, but you also need them to be cool enough for gravity to overcome the pressure and start the process of nuclear fusion. It's like making a campfire. You need the right amount of wood and the right conditions. If it's too windy or the wood is too spread out, you won't get a fire. In the cosmic dark ages, the universe was patiently setting up the perfect campfire for the first stars, the inevitable birth of stars. Finally, after hundreds of millions of years, the conditions were right for the first stars to form. These weren't like the stars we see today. They were massive, bright, and short-lived, burning through their fuel quickly and exploding as supernovae. The birth of the first stars was a turning point in the universe's history. They lit up the cosmic dark ages, ending the era of darkness and kickstarting the process of galaxy formation. These stars synthesized heavier elements, seeding the universe with the building blocks of planets and life. It's like a grand fireworks display, where each star is a burst of light and energy, transforming the universe around it. These first stars were the ancestors of all the stars we see in the sky today including our own sun. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the cosmic dark ages. It's a period that's hard to imagine, a time of darkness and silence, but also of immense importance. It set the stage for everything that came after, from the first stars to the galaxies, planets, and life itself. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember the cosmic dark ages. Remember the billions of years it took for those stars to form and the incredible journey the universe has been on. It's a story of patience, persistence, and the incredible power of nature. Thanks for joining me on this cosmic adventure. If you enjoyed this journey through the early universe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the wonders of our cosmos. Keep gazing at the stars and wondering about the mysteries of the universe.